So following on from our previous look at the energy balance over a CSTR, where in that case we had the same temperature, 25 degrees Celsius for the reactor feed and for the liquid product, we're now going to change the product stream to 60 degrees Celsius. So, as we mentioned previously, because we assume that the reactor is well mixed, setting the liquid product temperature to 60 degrees Celsius will set the vessel temperature contents to 60 degrees Celsius. And if we now look at the cooling duty, we can see that it is 1,381 kilowatts. So, again, the difference between this value and that from our hand calculations is due to the differences in things like the uh, the mean specific heat capacity that we assume in our hand calculations but also due to the the reaction conversion so calculations on CSTR are very sensitive to the to the reaction conversion especially energy balance calculations and we can see here that the actual conversion is 95.3% in our hand calculation we use 94.7%